hello everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video now I had stretch marks what I'm gonna do for you today I'm gonna share my stretch mark remover recipe with you now this remedy that I'm gonna share with you is one that I use on my stretch marks and I wish I could show them to you but they are actually at a spot that I cannot show on camera so you got to just take my word for it okay now for those of you who are not familiar with stretch marks they are those long narrow stretch streaks that you can find on the body sometimes they're bluish sometimes they're blackish sometimes they're purplish depending on your skin type now most people get their stretch marks from weight gain as I did while some people get it from pregnancy people even get stretch marks from puberty however regardless of how you get your stretch marks this remedy is gonna do wonders for you I'm using all natural ingredient in this remedy and it really works for me so if you're looking for an amazing stretch mark remover all homemade all natural follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time now guys let's take a look here I have some dried orange peel if you do not have dried orange peel you can go ahead and use a fresh orange zest in this recipe however for this recipe dried orange peel is good so what I'm gonna be doing with the dried orange peel I'm gonna blend it to a powder do not add any water to this just blend as is so here we have our blended orange zest and take a look at this we blend it to a powder and this is perfect what you can do with this you could store it in your refrigerator in a ziploc or bag for up to six months or even more our second ingredient is aloe vera gel and what I'm gonna be doing with the aloe vera I am gonna be peeling and extracting the gel now aloe vera gel will have to clear the skin of spots and blemishes it is also great for stretch marks it also is good for spider veins and varicose veins so definitely guys use up your aloe vera gel so what I'm simply doing here is just extracting the aloe vera gel from the aloe vera leaf now if you do not have aloe vera gel for this recipe I suggest you use the store-bought aloe vera gel however I personally prefer to use the fresh aloe vera gel for this recipe so let's just extract the aloe vera gel and So now here we have our aloe vera gel and what I'm going to be doing with this I'm going to be blending so I'm just going to cut a little bit I'm using a small blender so I like to chop my aloe vera gel before I place it in the blender since I'm not going to be adding any liquid to this now next I'm moving to just put the aloe vera gel in the blender like I'm showing here make sure to get everything in Now take a look guys this is the fresh aloe vera gel and to know if your aloe vera is fresh this is what you need to see when you blend you need it to be very very frothy like this is so now we're gonna put all these ingredients together and in our pot we're gonna use one tablespoon of the dried orange peel powder we're pouring this in the pot Next, we're going to reach for our coconut oil, and we're using our quarter cup of coconut oil. We're pouring this in the pot. Make sure to get everything in. And guys, we're going to add our aloe vera gel, and our aloe vera gel is about a half a cup of aloe vera gel, freshly blended aloe vera gel. And we're pouring this in the pot also let's get a scoop and just scoop it in and we're gonna add a few more optional ingredient 
Here I have some rosehip oil, and rosehip oil is amazing to clear your stretch marks. Whether it's been new stretch marks or old stretch marks, this is going to do an amazing job. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the rosehip oil, and I'm just going to pour this in. And this is optional, guys. You really don't need to use it, but if you have it, it's perfect for this recipe. Now take a look at my final oil. Here I have some Jamaican black castor oil. And Jamaican black castor oil is amazing for a lot of things. It's great for getting rid of stretch marks. It's great for growing your hair. It is good for your nails, dry skin, you name it. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna use about a, a teaspoon of the Jamaican black castor oil. And what we're gonna do next, guys, we are gonna be boiling this. So in my pot, I have dried orange peel, I also have castor oil, I also have some rosehip oil, I also have aloe vera gel, and I have some coconut oil, which is the main ingredient. So I'm gonna take this to the stove right now, and I'm gonna place it on the stove, and we're gonna boil. Once you place this on the stove top, you are going to turn the heat down very, very low. You don't want it to get too hot too fast. So you're going to take a spoon and just slowly stir it. And what is going to happen in the beginning is going to start to get very frothy, like I'm showing here. This is all good. So just keep stirring. And you're going to be boiling this for about 10 minutes or so. Now what is going to happen is that the longer you keep boiling, it's going to start drying down. Now after about 5 minutes or so, you can choose to turn the flame up a little. And what is going to happen, all of the water is going to evaporate from the mixture so it's going to start to dry down the bubbles the foam the froth is going to start to slowly disappear and what is going to happen is start to look like this now after about 10 minutes or so take a look this is what it should look like and this is when it is ready so what i'm going to do with the mixture i'm going to let it stand for about 30 minutes to cool down you don't want to pour this hot and after it is cooled then you're going to strain so we're straining to get rid of any of the settlement at the bottom and guys this is an amazing oil this oil is great for not only stretch marks, but it is also good for varicose veins and spider veins. Now, you can also add a fragrance to this if you so choose. You can add your favorite essential oil, orange, lemon, or you can even add some eucalyptus essential oil to this. Now, for storing, I like to store mine in a glass bottle. So, once this is done, you're going to cover tightly and you're gonna store preferably in a dark area. You do not need to refrigerate this. You can keep this on your countertop. Now to use this, you simply take a little bit, warm it in your hands and massage your stretch marks, regardless of where the stretch marks are on your body. And you wanna massage this AM and PM for best result. Within the first week of using this, you should see some form of uh, changes to the stretch marks. They should start it to fade and with continuous use before you know it your stretch marks will be gone so there you have it thank you all for watching use this on your stretch marks am and pm and before you know it you're on your way to getting rid of your stretch marks share the video and leave your comments and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye no.